good day Lord and ladies and welcome back to Hard West with me Connor tonight. Now before we dive into the video I've got a quick channel update. Um, I'm retweaking my recording schedule so you'll get two videos on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and one, one video on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm just sort of cutting back on the amount of videos I'm putting up at the moment just because obviously uh, I just want to make the video quality better plus it takes a lot of time to do editing and stuff with the Age of Fear um, series so because I have to record it using a separate engine and then do the voiceovers and then fiddle with various beasts and pieces to make sure that everything's in sync so it takes me quite a bit of time so doing one of those videos every day is quite time consuming and I want to try and move towards a less intense upload schedule for myself so I'm cutting back on my videos slightly you still get free Age of Fear videos um, a week and once this Hard West is done I will be doing a new Let's Play series every day um, probably looking at it it's probably going to be Pillars of, the, Pillars of Eternity and then you actually I'm going to put it up to you guys what you'd like it's probably going to be Pillars of Eternity um, Star Wars uh, the, the 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 original Star Wars RPG um, Knights of the is it Knights of the Old Republic or is it uh, can't remember which one it was it's the it's the very first um, single player RPG that was released by Bioware for Star Wars um, either that I'm also looking at Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen perhaps as well or if there's uh, a couple of others that I am but if you have any ideas what you'd like me to play we'll put it up on the channel and that will have a single episode every day. For now, let's dive back into the campaign. Right, purchased at least one more body part. Maple Falls, Slaughterhouse. What is it that we need to actually get to get the Revenant? Hands of Fortune that we have. We have the Gambler's Liver, Hand of Fortune, Lucky Lung, Priest Tongue, and Human Limp. So let's go... That's a general stall there. The small array of tents and single wooden buildings looked like a mir mirage in the middle of the Badlands. The sign read, and he calls general goods. The store was run by a gentleman who found glasses and black dusters co uh, the black duster coat. The man said if, you, if I took part in a little test of his... You give me a 20% discount. Ugh. No, because it would take us time. Let's just look what we have to trade. Right. Not found the shotguns. Let's sell the shotguns. Get cash. Is anything here we want? Uh, horse is nice, but no. Okay, so what's that? Rich house, beauty clinic. Let's go, rich house. I was called to tend to a severe case of gout affecting away for your answer. The man was so delicious, delirious of pain, he barely knew I was there. He was so far gone, I decided that rather than treat him. Treat his gallery to simply extract some ether from him. Let's just do that. For I knew it would be ineffective, I bled him, collecting his fluids to make more ether. I charged his family a modest fee for the service. Alright, we got some ether out of it. Beauty clinic. One of my fellow doctors, Dr. Stoneman, ran a beauty clinic in the nearby Hot Springs area. While he was not overly fond of me, many of his patients harboured the opposite sentiments. Case in point, the elderly Mrs. Harper saw me in a clinic and implored me to visit her home to resolve a problem of hers. The clinic had an experimental cosmetic surgery ward. There, Dr. Stoneman restored syphilis victims' noses, removed gunsort scarring and removed excess fat tissue from the obese. As fat is an extremely efficient source of ether, I was naturally quite interested. Sought out Stoneman and offered him a generous sum for the fat. Stoneman was more than a little surprised and declined my offer most vehemently. He recalled me as an 
You call, he called me manipulative, I was loath to repeat, and assured me my rampage would soon be over. Luckily, Dr. Duval, a long-term friend of mine and leader of our secret society, noticed our spat intervened. He spoke to us at length about pressing the camaraderies and selling assets of Free Vincement's medicine. The end, Stoneman was forced to back down. We concluded the trade and left the premises. Ah, so we actually got a good amount. Go and visit Miss Hart. So what do we need? We need death eight, don't we? Hand of fortune. A hand of fortune, that's what we need. Visit Mrs. Harper optional. Yeah, let's do that first. I found Mrs. Harper most distraught. She told me quite convincingly in fact ever since her first son Henry had gone to war. Her other children had been plotting to kill her. While she resigned to pass away, she feared the prospect of being strangled, poisoned, otherwise brutalized. She then asked me to help her end her life peacefully. She promised a significant compensation. Okay. Mrs. Harper put on her finest clothing for the occasion and laid down on the couch. She motioned me to proceed. I prepared a chloroform mask for her, loading it with a dose so big it would put her down a horse. She breathed in vapours until she pl her placidly became incense in scent. After a brief interval I checked her pulse and found she had passed away. Alas, her children did not appreciate my actions. When Mrs. Harper's youngest son learned what happened, he was furious. Apparently Mrs. Harper had lost her wits in old age and had become paranoid. I had been duped by ambitious madman, now her son had challenged me to a duel. As a man of honour I accepted, Phyllis served as my second. As we marched to ten steps and turned around and fired, the Harpers had their own family family guns, passing generations together for use in such momentous events as this. The day was sunny with a slight breeze, and the countdown started. I marched into the face of death. Before the countdown finished, I spun around and shot the young Harper in the back. I waited until the countdown finished, then turned around and fired at the best of my abilities. My shoulder burned, Harper's bullet had hit me, though the pain was severe, I managed to keep my head about me long enough to terminate young Harper's life in response. With the help of Finnis, I, I made a retreat, being sort of collect my blood for later, later ether production. So he's got face mutation. That's not great. Let's go down there. We've tried some medical attention. Yeah, pay that to get rid of his face mutation. Do anything about the decay? Right, we left. So what's down here? Slaughterhouse, Maple Falls. Maple Falls was the biggest settlement in the area, and the people were decent folks for the most part. There was a gunsmith, a saloon, and there was also somebody who needed medical attention. I made a round of the house and offered my medical expertise, hoping it would lead, would net me some coin. Though it took me a couple of hours, I made 75 profit from the, from home visits. Upon entering Maple Falls, a scrawny youngster approached me and began blithering about an accident in my coal mine. He urged me to go there immediately. I told him I would do so after I concluded our business with the gunsmith. The gunsmith was a smug and well-dressed man, but incredibly buffoon. He fixed us with a constantly look without saying anything. That's what he has. Eh... Uh, nothing really interesting, to be honest. I mean, I'd rather sell the hand cannon for cash. Naval Rover is nice, I must admit. But for now, let's go to um, attend the mine accident. The wounded mi miner was conscious but had a large opening in the middle of his chest. I asked him if it, how it happened. Apparently, as the man had been stamping some explosives with a metal pole, the man, he, sorry, as the man had been stamping some explosives with a metal pole when the charge went off, sending the pole flying through his chest, I could clearly see his beating heart and the expanding motion of his light rung. The left one was completely destroyed. The wind bled profusely in the man had a sort of breath. I told the man to leave me alone with him. I gave him an excessive dose of morphine to his pain, tagged his good lung for my friends at the morgue and instructed the other miners to get the priest.
Do I need a lung? I think I might. The morphine was quickly working and the man passed away without suffering. Then the body arrived at the morgue. Vanessa would know at the mark and extract the lung for me. What do I need? Lucky lung. Okay. Yeah, too evil to keep the decay away. He's got lucky lung. Just offer. Return to the laboratory and perform the surgery on Liberty. So what do we need for the Revenant? Gambler's liver, hand of fate, lucky lung, priest's tongue, human lymph. And we have... Give that to him. We still have the slaughterhouse down here. A visit to the slo local slaughterhouse. The the bovering cadaver, um, the bovering cadaver's vilica system is more effective than the humans. Naturally, I was interested in acquiring some of them f of, th of that power for myself. I had the strong bull slaughtered and its heart extracted. Let's pay for that and get that done. I found the buying heart for this quite romantic. Of course, it had to be paired with the morgue before I could sell it to a human being. Okay, so they have a bull heart there. General stall. So they've got a bull heart. That stuff isn't for sale, I take no. Okay, we'll go back to the morgue and start doing that then. I returned to my laboratory in the graveyard, it was you were still less stable. I returned to my laboratory in the graveyard, you were still stable. I was ready to perform the surgery. The singular, proper, the singular property of ether is, is that it allows useful pieces of deceased to be reused in human, living humans. Do you remember that poor devil, Sam Somerset, whom you freed during your escape? His cancerous growth seemed to give him unique powers. Naturally, I extracted it and saved it for your rebirth. Your former slave masters were content exploiting you for mental quarry, menial quarry work. What a pathetic band of ignorance. I could see that your leadership and determination gave you the potential to become a superior human being, but compared to the average human, your, phys your physical strength was adequate at best. What about the compared to the average tiger? Sattered arms, off with them, falling, failing heart replaced with the bull's kidneys. Why stop at two? I worked all day and it, and it came together in a truly divine way. You were already an incredible specimen. Your surgeries made you something even more. Even more what? Your surgeries made me a monster. You only wanted me for your sick fantasies. And after you had your fun, you sent those thugs to kill me. Right. Scavenger, give her that. Liberty's eyes, compatible tissue. This compatible tissue seems to produce fewer signs of decay. Oh, the symbols at the top indicate that if you put them together, they will give you better. Stats, interesting. Interesting, okay, so if we give him that one, 
There we go. I'm going to probably twist it a little bit. Give her that. I mean, he hasn't got a lot of stuff. We don't have a lot of stuff to give anyone, to be honest. Compatible tissue to this compatible tissue is seen to reduce fewer signs. Yep, yeah, okay. They're both sensor and they both can't die. Right here. was blinding in my hands. Yes, your hands were quite mangled in the fall, but in any case, your new ones are far superior. Superior? These are Fred Glass's hands, you bastard. I need to get the cover and shoot him. Your armed goons will close it in, but I don't die easy. How many of these guys are there? Come on. Damn, that was close. Even closer. Right, so she's in cover. Just great, and we can't get that open. Night. Yeah, I should have. I shouldn't have moved. The gunfire woke up Phineas. Your other free. I don't like it. I, it's not the bloke's fault. Why does he call him a freak? It's not his fault. Missed. That's bad. Get to here. Really? Oh, we had to start that all over again. Man, that's annoying. Oh well, I'll get us back to that point in the campaign. Um, I must admit that is rather annoying. I thought I'd, I thought I had more room than that. Obviously, I did not. Uh, to my own mistake. Eh. Ah well. We so shall get back into the campaign. I shall get us back to that point to it so you don't have to watch me go through it. I've been Cornus Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. This has been the Scars of Freedom expansion. I've been Cornus Knight. So see you all next time on the next episode of Hard West. Goodbye, folks.